The knives are out again for Meghan Markle after Vanity Fair's formidable editor, Radhika Jones, reportedly axed her from the coveted guest list for this year's Oscar bash. The annual celebration, thrown to coincide with the Academy Awards, is Hollywood's hottest ticket. This year promises to be even more special, marking the 30th anniversary of the exclusive soiree. The VIP dinner and glamorous after-party will descend on Beverly Hills come March 10, with big names like Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, and Martin Scorsese gracing the illustrious party in years past, but one royal will be conspicuously absent. According to Page Six sources, Megan got firmly rebuffed when her camp asked Jones to find her a seat at the table. While Markle did appear on a Vanity Fair cover at the height of her suit's fame, it appears that Jones feels her current achievements don't align with Vanity Fair's celebration of big-screen talent. This stinging public snub couldn't come at a worse time for the Duchess of Sussex. Amid rumors she's been dropped by her agency WME, it seems humiliation piles upon humiliation, her pleas went unanswered, reduced to begging via her rebranded business venture. Insiders at the soiree say she'd be wise to avoid a public appearance, regardless. Her constant attention-seeking antics aren't befitting of an event known for genuine star power. The royal and her husband might try to spin their appearance by bringing unnecessary security, creating the illusion of royal exclusivity, but such antics wouldn't wash at Vanity Fair, where every guest feels like a VIP for the night. This latest embarrassment caps off a period where Markle's been shamelessly chasing popularity. Sources allege she fixates on pop superstar Taylor Swift and even invited her onto her podcast with a handwritten note. Swift wisely never appeared, but that hasn't diminished Markle's fascination. Her recent, calculated, attendance at a Swift concert only underlined her desperation to capitalize on the singer's brand. Royal commentators paint Meghan as a woman seeking inspiration from another star's trajectory, a futile pursuit, according to experts. Sources suggest she aspires for a public redemption like Swift's but misses the crucial understanding that Taylor has genuine talent. In an ironic twist of fate, Swift likely aligns with Prince William, demonstrating that real stars see through Meghan's carefully crafted attempts at victimhood. Word around Hollywood's campfire is that while the Vanity Fair snub stings for Meghan, she should ultimately be relieved. Being photographed amongst A-listers only underscores her faded star status. If Hollywood royalty want nothing to do with her, why risk alienating a dwindling fanbase any further?